Maxwell Chikambozo, the mastermind behind Africa's wireless power grid, is back with an even bolder vision, a satellite network to connect millions across the continent. Could this revolutionary project finally bridge the digital divide and unlock Africa's full potential? Maxwell Chikambozo was never an ordinary inventor. He emerged from the heart of Zimbabwe with a mind teeming with ideas that many considered impossible. His self-powered generator, wireless power transmission system, and hybrid-powered aircraft turned heads globally. But despite the acclaim, Maxwell's heart remained firmly rooted in Africa's development. He has always said that technology must serve people, not just profits. For Maxwell, the mission has never been about fame or wealth. It has always been about solving Africa's deepest problems with local ingenuity. And in the world's most disconnected continent, the problem of digital access still looms large. Across vast regions of Africa, millions live without reliable access to the internet. In some rural communities, entire generations have never browsed the web. Students hike for miles just to reach a school that may or may not have a working computer. Farmers rely on word of mouth or local radio instead of real-time weather and market data. Doctors cannot access the latest medical journals or training tools online. Entrepreneurs are boxed into small local markets, unable to reach customers across borders. It's a crisis that holds back education, innovation, and prosperity. Maxwell believes it doesn't have to be this way. He sees the digital divide as not just a gap, but a wound that must be healed. And that's where his newest project takes flight, a revolutionary satellite network for Africa. This isn't just another connectivity initiative. This is an African-designed, African-owned, and African-led solution. Maxwell's satellite network aims to blanket the continent with fast, affordable internet. From the mountains of Ethiopia to the deserts of Namibia, every region will be covered. He envisions a network so powerful and inclusive that no village or urban slum is left out. Using a constellation of low Earth orbit, LEO satellites, the system will beam internet directly to ground terminals. These terminals, powered by his self-charging tech, will act as digital gateways for entire communities. The system is designed to be plug and play with minimal technical expertise required. Villagers can set up terminals on rooftops or fields and go online within minutes. Unlike traditional telecoms, there are no buried cables, no complex infrastructure. And unlike current satellite internet options, Maxwell's system is designed to be cost-effective. He knows affordability is key for widespread adoption in rural and underserved areas. His team is working on subsidies and public-private partnerships to bring prices even lower. The goal is simple, universal connectivity across Africa. Maxwell is also working with African universities to develop local talent in satellite engineering. He believes Africa must not only consume technology but also build it. Training programs will prepare thousands of engineers to maintain and evolve the network. In schools across Africa, students will soon be able to access online courses and digital libraries. Teachers will stream lectures and conduct virtual labs using the new satellite network. Doctors will access telemedicine platforms to consult with global experts in real time. Farmers will use mobile apps for soil testing, irrigation scheduling, and crop disease detection. Startups will emerge in unexpected places, building new digital services for local and global markets. Markets will open up, and borders will become less of a barrier to business and knowledge exchange. Communities once cut off will have a new voice in the digital world. Maxwell's satellite network is more than a tech innovation. It's a catalyst for continental transformation. But building a satellite network is no small feat. It requires complex engineering, robust infrastructure, and massive investment. Maxwell has partnered with space agencies and tech firms across Africa, Asia, and South America. Together, they are designing satellites that are compact, powerful, and optimized for Africa's terrain. The first test satellite is already in development, with launch scheduled for early next year. The system uses cutting-edge phased array antennas for rapid signal adjustment. This ensures consistent service even in dense urban areas or heavily forested regions. Maxwell's Innovation Lab has even developed custom chipsets to handle encryption and data routing locally. Security and privacy are top priorities, 
especially in regions with unstable political environments. The satellites will communicate not just with users, but also with each other in a mesh configuration. This means even if one satellite fails, the network remains functional. Redundancy and resilience are baked into the design. Energy. Consumption has also been minimized, with Maxwell's signature self-charging modules powering key infrastructure. Some ground stations are equipped with kinetic chargers, solar arrays, or RF energy harvesters. This ensures uptime even in areas with no grid power. Maxwell's vision includes emergency response capability too. During natural disasters or conflicts, the satellite system can provide rapid communication for rescue and relief teams. Mobile clinics, emergency drones, and relief convoys will all benefit from reliable data links. And because the system is independent of any single government or corporate entity, it reduces geopolitical vulnerability. The project has already attracted investment from African development banks and impact investors. Chikambutso is also exploring public crowdfunding to involve citizens in owning a piece of the network. Ownership, he argues, must be shared if Africa is to build resilient tech ecosystems. The satellite project is as much about empowerment as it is about innovation. Maxwell often says that the next billion internet users will come from Africa. He intends to make that prediction a reality. And he knows that connectivity will accelerate every aspect of Africa's rise. Already, test sites in Zambia and Uganda have shown remarkable results. Children who had never used a tablet are now accessing YouTube tutorials and coding platforms. Local clinics are digitizing patient records and connecting to national health databases. Market vendors are using mobile payments and inventory apps to grow their businesses. These early pilots are just a glimpse of what's possible. Maxwell believes this is only the beginning. In the next decade, he sees an Africa where satellite internet is as common as mobile phones. An Africa where every child has access to global knowledge where businesses in remote areas can reach customers across the world, where digital culture becomes a pillar of national identity and pride. He sees this network not as a luxury, but as a digital lifeline, a bridge that connects hope with opportunity, a highway of light in the skies above Africa. Maxwell's satellite project is a testament to what African innovation can achieve. It's not just about launching rockets, it's about launching futures. And for Maxwell Chikambutso, the sky is not the limit, it's only the beginning. Maxwell Chikambutso's dream of a satellite-powered Africa is not just a fantasy. It is a mission now in motion. The second phase of this mission is already unfolding with precision, passion, and partnership. With the first satellites nearing final assembly, Maxwell's engineering teams are working around the clock to meet launch timelines. Ground control systems are being set up in strategic hubs like Nairobi, Accra, and Harare. Each hub will monitor satellite operations and coordinate with local service partners for seamless deployment. The training of local technicians is in full swing, with universities offering special modules in satellite maintenance and digital infrastructure. Maxwell understands that knowledge must accompany infrastructure to ensure long-term sustainability. He's building a workforce for the future, not just a technology for the present. In Burkina Faso, young engineers are testing low-latency communication protocols. In Senegal, software developers are working on optimization algorithms for data packet delivery. In Ethiopia, technicians are field testing rugged terminals capable of surviving dust storms and floods. The project is building an ecosystem as much as it is building a network. This ecosystem includes hardware manufacturers, AI developers, cybersecurity experts, and logistics providers. Maxwell envisions a network that adapts in real time self-heals, and constantly evolves. The terminals themselves are becoming smarter with every iteration. The latest models are voice-activated, solar-powered, and equipped with multilingual interfaces. This makes access intuitive for elders and children alike, even in areas with low literacy rates. And with AI chatbots embedded, users can get local news, health tips, and educational content even when offline. The satellite system caches popular content locally to reduce bandwidth load and ensure continuous availability. 
This hybrid approach of online and offline access increases resilience against cyber attacks or temporary outages. For Maxwell, this isn't just a network. It's a knowledge cloud hovering above the continent. One of the key breakthroughs came when Maxwell's team miniaturized signal conversion units into wearable formats. Now, small wearable pendants can convert satellite signals to Wi-Fi for nearby devices. This means one person wearing the pendant can connect a classroom full of students to the internet. These wearables are being tested in refugee camps and remote schools with remarkable success. Every innovation in the project follows the same rule. Make it simple, durable, and accessible. Maxwell believes technology must disappear into the background, letting people focus on their goals, not the tools. In South Sudan, solar drone stations are being tested to distribute satellite terminals by air to inaccessible areas. These drones can fly autonomously, deploy payloads, and return for recharging using solar runways. It's part of a logistics web being built alongside the network, ensuring hardware reaches even the most remote outposts. But challenges remain. Launching satellites from Africa has legal and technical hurdles. Airspace regulations, international treaties, and launchpad constraints all add complexity. Maxwell is negotiating partnerships with South African and North African launch facilities to localize satellite deployment. He is also in talks with other BRICS countries to co-launch payloads at reduced cost. Cost sharing and launch pooling are key to sustaining the network's growth over time. In parallel, Maxwell is lobbying for a Pan-African regulatory framework on satellite communication and data sovereignty. He wants Africa to write its own rules, not just borrow them from the West. This would protect user data, support indigenous languages, and encourage local innovation in satellite technology. Maxwell's vision has caught the attention of the African Union, which has formed a committee to support policy alignment. Private telecom companies are beginning to shift their business models to partner with, rather than compete against, the satellite network. Some are investing in hybrid plans, combining fiber, cellular, and satellite to create seamless experiences. Others are integrating satellite access into their rural rollouts using Maxwell's terminal kits. This cooperation could amplify the project's impact and reduce redundancy in infrastructure spending. Global tech giants are also taking notice. Rather than launching their own systems over Africa, they're expressing interest in API-level partnerships with Maxwell's platform. This would allow services like cloud storage, streaming, and search to be localized for the African context. Maxwell is adamant that any such partnerships must prioritize African languages, data security, and economic inclusion. He rejects extractive models that monetize African users without reinvesting in their communities. Instead, he is building open protocols that allow African developers to plug into the satellite network, a digital commons, he calls it, a space where any African entrepreneur can create services for their people. Open source tools, local hosting options, and decentralized ID systems are already under development. And in every decision, Maxwell returns to the core principle, equity. This network must uplift, not exploit. It must democratize access, not monopolize it. The long-term roadmap includes data centers powered by renewable energy and cooled using geothermal or air convection. These data centers will serve as regional digital hubs for content, AI training, and cloud processing. Already, architects in Rwanda are designing modular centers that can be assembled in under a week. And local technicians are being trained to manage uptime, cybersecurity, and hardware maintenance. In Uganda, small businesses are piloting AI customer service tools using bandwidth from Maxwell's test satellites. This is just a glimpse of the potential impact when connectivity becomes abundant and affordable. The entire continent is beginning to imagine new possibilities. Students are dreaming bigger. Startups are scaling faster. Communities are finding their digital voice. And for the first time, Africa isn't just a consumer of tech, it's shaping the future of it. Maxwell believes this is the moment Africa claims its digital sovereignty, not by rejecting global tech, but by owning the infrastructure that powers it. Not by isolating itself, but by entering global digital conversations as equals. With every satellite launched, a signal is sent, not just to devices, but to minds, that Africa can build, lead, 
and innovate on its own terms. That the future isn't imported, it's invented here. That connectivity is a right, not a luxury. That no child should be disconnected from the world of ideas. And that the next billion voices online will come from every corner of this vibrant continent. Maxwell Chikambutso's satellite network is more than an infrastructure project. It is a message to the world. Africa is not waiting. Africa is rising, one orbit at a time. And with every signal that beams down, a new story begins, written by Africans, for Africa and for the world.